Okay, so I'm going to speak basically from India, South, Kerala. Uh, currently, I'm doing my theology in Philippines, the name of Manila. Also, I'm doing my MA in family philosophy. So, two courses parallel. I am stuck here now because I cannot go back to Philippines. They don't allow the phone to spread the Philippines. So, I am waiting for the time they allow that. Some is a time they allow, like nine. My sign G is on the list, so hopefully by December or January, I'll be able to go back. But my class are okay, I'm doing it online. So I'm still having my online classes. So um, I was thinking about what to talk to you about. So I checked the gospel today, so the virgins and the oil and so on. And I thought it's difficult because. Even if you have oil, you cannot enter the kingdom of God unless you are a virgin. Is that the case? <laughs> Is that the case? No. The virginity in the ancient uh, Israel time was associated with purity. Don't take it literally. When you say virgin, it means you are pure. That's all the more details for that. It's not really the physical virginity they are asking for. And I thought maybe there will be father who is explaining that to the during the homily. Was not going to explain how the Mark will be doing it maybe in the Tagalog class. So I, I was thinking I will take something different from the theme that we have today for the Sunday. So that is, this month is dedicated to all the saints and those who died ahead of us. So then I decided maybe I will just talk about those two saints and those gone ahead of us. So um, all of us experience people dying. Yes. Uh, close ones. It's very painful. Yes. Yes. Usually, when we are invited to uh, <coughs> give like a funeral mass, it's difficult to console the people because it's you no know, talking to someone is very easy, but feeling with them is very different. You do not understand how much they feel when someone is being born from their life. It's really hard. <laughs> so, I like to today begin with a uh, concept which is not really Christian but very close to our faith. Uh, this is from uh, Hinduism and also in connection with, with uh, Buddhism. Okay? We believe that when we are dead, we will be united with whom? God. Yeah, with God. Because He created us and we go back to Him. That's what the Christian belief is all about. Uh, when you die, we go back to God. So in Hinduism, they narrate it very well and very, like very effective actually. To understand the concept, uh, they say, what makes you different from the other? Any idea? What, may, what makes you different from that? The character. Huh? <laughs> or the character <laughs> and the physical. We have our own yes. Character, physical. yeah, that's one thing. If you go a bit higher in your thinking, what makes you different from the other? The feelings. Emotion. Human beings we all feel, so we are not really different from the other. We all have feelings. Yeah, physical appearance. Physical appearance, yeah, that's one thing. Yes. Faith. 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 Faith, yes, but yes. Uh, faith. Belief. Beliefs. There is something called ego. You know that ego? Pride. Yeah. If you study right. psychology, you will hear that word also. Ego, super ego, all those things. Ego. What ego doing actually with us? Ego will tell you that you are someone. That one is different. Yes. Huh? I am something so good, I am this and that, that, I can do all these things. So this is you. Ego will tell you this is you. And that one, she is not that good like you. She is not that uh, talented. She cannot dance. She cannot shake the hips. I see. Why did not So the ego is the one. <laughs> Making you different from the other. It's, it's the ego. And uh, the story narrated in, the book, in their books is like this. You consider the whole universe and all creation and God as the sea. The sea. Yes. Huh? And you are a pot in the sea, body. Huh? And the, the body is the, the pot. And you have a little bit of sea water inside. That's the real you. The you without ego. What is it? What is it? I didn't understand. Okay. You are like a pot. A 
Ah, boat. Okay, okay. Sure, okay. But also, you can say wooden for wooden. I would like to say, uh, airplane ball. Huh? You know airplane ball. Okay. Uh. Floating on the sea. Uh. And sea is God. Everything that's, that's the vast thing is called God. Huh? Uh. And you have a little bit of sea water actually. Basically, you are one with the sea. But there is something make you not connect with the sea. Mm. That's the body. Yes. Okay. Yes. The port is like a body. Yes, yes. Or it can be say in a bigger picture in psychological way, you call it uh, ego. The ego is making you think that you are different from others. others. So that is the place when the pot is broken. Oh. When you are dead, the body is gone. The pot is broken and you become one with the real you. Because the real you is in union with God and everything, with the nature of creation and everything. Mm. So that is the phase. The phase where the pot is broken and you get become one with the universe. Practically in their concept, the universe is a God. Okay? That's the simple explanation, very beautiful explanation of death. You really think that you are different from other, and that particular point of time you realize that whatever I was thinking about me, it's just gone. Now I am something else. And now I realize that I am one with God and with everyone. All of us are the same. same. If we can develop, uh, it's very difficult, of course. If you can develop that concept, right? if you can bring down your ego, you can already feel one with everything. That's what the saints were telling us to do. Have you read all day? You remember the last Sunday's gospel? Gospel of last Sunday. What no, was that? It's about the attitude. The attitude. Yeah, the attitude. The sermon on the mount. What was all about? Uh, yeah, the, uh, blessedness. Yeah, the blessedness. Yeah. How do we get blessedness? Blessed those the who are humble. Yeah. Humble, yes, one thing is humble. Blessed your your love. The first thing is about being poor. Being poor. What's about being poor? You mean you should go begging in the street? No. What's that poor? Poor of the spirit. Poor in the spirit. Poor in the spirit, yes. What's that? Spirituality. More in the spirit. Have you heard of Mithun Tata? I can tell you a bit a good story so you will know what's more in spirit. Tata is a big businessman here. He actually has a big empire of business in the world. He owns like uh, iron carvings, factories, cars, and so on. He is almost anywhere in the world. The Taj Hotels. He is the head of all those four five star hotels. And he owns the Jaguar, the Land Rover. So he's the CEO of that. But if you look into his life, very simple life, you will not see him like a billionaire. And he walks very simple. And he travels in a simple car. He doesn't even use the luxury cars in his life. He is using a very simple motor car. But he also owns Indian brand for Tata. They produce medium cars for ordinary people. He is even using those, even though he owns that war and that pro, all those big ones. So simple life. You have everything, but you can also live as if you don't really own anything. Yes. Happiness. It's, yeah, it's all about the finding happiness in being simple. Yeah, simple yeah. city. Of course, you don't earn it's much like a, maybe how much you earn, like 5,000 per month. Right. Our salary is 4,000 already and we share 5,000, oh my god. This you earn something, but in the Philippines this can be still a higher salary, right, if you compare to the salaries in the Philippines. So, how do you spend the money? That's a very good thing to evaluate yourself. How do you spend your money? Sometimes I ask the other Filipinas, last time I talked with another group here, how much do you teach your children being simple in their life? Sometimes our tendency is to sell money to the children so that, you know, that's the way we show love and care and concern and everything. Because money is the way we live now. Because you're here, you want to show that we really care for them. How do you do that? Because physically we are not there, so you send money to your children, thinking that that's the way you can do. But how much do we really teach them about being simple? Because when I was in Manila, I was also assigned to the parish here, the parish, I also see Children of Filipinas working here spending a lot of money. Really a lot. 
It depends on the father. Are you going to tell us that you just go to Hong Kong and see how your father is doing? Yeah. Because they don't understand the the hardship of being like here working as a worker. Yes. They just enjoy the money, yes, but how is how they receive that money? That's really lacking in their life. ಸಿಂಪಲ್ being poor and spirit is very much essential for being a saint that's why father mark was saying the saints were really practicing beatitudes it's not only about the commandments it's also about the beatitudes because commandments are always don't 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 if you don't do that you are okay the, the beatitudes will tell you it's not about don'ts it's also about doing something you look at the commandments all negative don't do this don't do that That's why the rich man, the rich young boy came to Jesus and asked, what do I love? Because I do everything. But don't think I'm okay. I'm not doing it. But Jesus said, the don'ts are not enough. He said everything, the same thing. Be poor. Set as hard. Don'ts are easy to follow. Doing is hard. PH groups are really asking you to do something about your life. It is really hard. Don't, don't lie. Okay, that I can't do it. Don't lie. Yes. So those. What is the next one? Being poor. And the next one? Being poor then? Being poor. Those are poor and spirit. Okay, then? Being rich. <laughs> rich in spirit. Those, those who mourn. That's another thing. Oh yes, mourn. Those who mourn. Why what's about mourning? How many of you cry every day? Morning. Many times. Huh? Many times. Many times. So it means you are already no. blessed. <laughs> If you cry, you are blessed. Really? No. Mm-hmm. Then what's that about? What about the movie? Last time I cried when I watched the sad, uh, sad movie. Uh, I had a movie drama. Movie drama. Drama. That's a different cry. Right? So what's the morning? Morning. Morning. What is my morning? So you, you, why would you say so you're blessed when you're crying? Is that? Really? Yeah. It's not just literal. I think so not, not all. So it's not literal. So what's that? It's just... Sometimes we're mourning of... tiredness we are tired of the work so we need to cry and release our stress release our feelings and just cry it's not only about crying it's yes. also about how do you handle it how dependent you are on god you can just cry you can keep on crying for one, one hour or two hours but how much close you are with god that time sometimes people when they cry what they do No oh god no more church i will not i will not give any more donations because he was not god was not righteous with me it's different brother some some people if they cry they can remember jesus that's the time they they yeah so that's the blessedness i'm talking about oh, the blessedness goes with we were association with god in the time of distress you can cry all along all day long and you can also say this is not god because i'm tired and i'm limited i don't i'm not being cared by god it's also a time for us to get closer to god so the blessedness comes in your morning when you are going towards to god that's the other aspect so what's the next one atmoyan so before and morning then what hindi Okay. Yeah, forget. Remember the next one? Merciful. Ah, merciful. Merciful. How many of you are merciful? How many are merciful to one another? How many of you can forgive fast? If someone is doing something, you get angry. How many of you can forgive? Okay, you always forgive. Always forgive. Depending on the situation and the person. Huh? But sometimes 
son, my brother. Is it really easy to forgive? Is it really easy to forgive? Really easy to forgive? It's very easy to forgive. It's but not to forget. It's hard to forget. It's hard to forget. It's, oh, it's hard to forget. It okay. depends upon the situation. And, uh, in psychology, we say, if you don't really forget that, you will yeah. really yeah. forget. Yeah. Yes. 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 If you are happy. You know, you can tell yourself, it's very unforgiving, that person no more. <laughs> Is God is gone? No, I mean, what I mean about brother is, yeah. if you forgive, then you forgive, you forget. But it's just, uh, but sometimes, it's a the situation. Sometimes, you it's can well, forgive flash the person, back. Yes. but you cannot give back mm. what is from before. Mm. That was, I, uh, that, that is what I meant. Yeah, okay. But so for, me, for me, if you are humble to yourself, you can accept and you can but it's really easy, that's what I was saying. It's, yeah, it's easy to yeah, talk, but it's not easy, it's hard to do. This is subjectly one thing. Some people can easily forgive and forget, yes. Yeah. Depends on the situation. It's difficult. Yeah. It's difficult, yes. It's not that easy, yeah. no. <laughs> it's really hard. Yeah, but, uh, For some people, the heart is really there. You know, they, they say the heart is like a wound. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But how wound is here, it's in the heart. I still have that spread. Not go. So you very easy to be a humble people. That's the other. That's the other. That's the other way. It's different from God and you. That's the one another issue. When we are when we are hurt by someone, like when you like they say sometimes uh, they say, especially if you have a friend who is very spiritual. You tell you, okay, go to church and pray and just forgive. Is it forgive? Yeah, it's not very easy, but uh, yeah. um, it's not very easy to forgive, but, but you know, uh, if you will pray, yeah. you know, and then if you are humble to yourself, you can forgive the other. Of course, very hard for you, in your inside, inside part, but it's not easy. Actually, easy to say, but not easy. Yeah. Yes, that's right. Because we are just only a human and it's difficult to be humble all the time. When there is a hurt of something in you, Bible is the best thing to know them. It says, if you have something against your brother, what the Bible says? Instead of going to church first, what you should do? Pray. Pray. Leave the sacrificial, sacrificial object there and go back to the person and reconcile. That's what the Bible says. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the first thing to do? It's the reconciliation. Mm. It's not praying first. The praying happens oh, the second. Okay. The first primary thing is be forgiven with the person. You go to the person himself or himself. To the answer by himself. That's the first primary thing to do. Yeah, so going to God is the second thing. The spiritual yeah. stuff comes the second. And sometimes our problem is that we spiritualize everything. But sometimes of spiritualizing will not help us. Mm-hmm. But because Father, you know, uh, many people, they go is very high. They don't want to be because of evil. That's not the mission for yeah. If you are high people, you cannot be merciful. Yeah. That's not the mission. If you are high people, you cannot be merciful. Yes. So the ego has a lot to do with uh, being miserable. It's not that easy. Yes. They always say, uh, Jesus is the best example to be merciful. What? You could even pray for them in the cross. Yeah, just pray yes. for them. Pray for yourself, pray for them. I'm not perfect. I'm also, I'm also asking you, because I'm a really psychologist, so I know people that are really hurt. It's very different. Yes. Some people, they really <laughs> <laughs> have a lot in their life, they cannot forgive and forget. I always recommend forgive. go and talk I, to the person. I can forgive, but maybe it takes time. But rather, if for everyone, for everyone, it takes time. That's what it is. 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 But the trust, I cannot give back anymore. Brother, I'm just like that. Brother, on my situation, I will think the positive, not the negative, so that I can forgive the people. But I'm asking you still, the, the heart is still there. The yes. Still there. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's, that's why, why in psychology they say, you can easily you fool yourself. Yeah. You can easily fool yourself. Yes, yes. you can fool yeah. yourself. Yeah. You, can, you can deny yourself. For example, if you can today and forgiving that person is gone. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but if you can see her, yeah. denying the self. Not only hypocrisy, not only hypocrisy, but you're not being honest to yourself. Yes. Of course, if you're self-aware, you're not 
already mm-hmm. forgive but you know only uh, in your heart you forgive it but time stop actually that's still wrong in your heart it's very difficult in your head you can forgive <laughs> yes correct that's right <laughs> that's what we see that's what we see rather it depends on the serious person because we are only a human for example you that is you okay. you have your you have your egg okay. you're the one who control yourself okay But in your heart, it's really how hard it is for you to forgive someone. That's the process. Oh, that is why. Yeah, that's yeah. why the heart is clear. The no, that's why the whole thing is on the. Okay, so the for me the point is that the ego handles that. Huh? Yeah. The higher your ego, difficult to forgive and be merciful. Okay. If you want to be merciful, you have to bring down your ego. Okay. Mercifulness goes with forgiveness and love. Yeah. Well. How do you be merciful? Because there is something wrong with that person, an irritating kind of character, and you want to be merciful with that person. Because sometimes it's easy. Sometimes, brother, it's yeah. not about that person. Mm-hmm. It is the situation. Also, yes. Because it's not you just oh I can forgive about okay. what happened. Oh I can forgive, I can forget okay. because I am serving God because I'm doing this for God. No, it's not that. It is. I, on the situation yes. it's not on the person so it's yes. it, if you say yeah, oh i can forgive yes you can forgive i can forgive but you cannot bring back what is before yeah. Yeah. it is because it's already broken but if you yeah. keep saying that you need to bring back Down all the memories right. you need to bring back yeah, two together then yeah. it's hypocrisy brother in india there is a saying the relationship or any kind of any kind of friendship yeah. it's like no Yeah. It's like a rock. Yeah. Yeah. Straight rock. There is no fire. Once it's broken, how to become one? How to make it one? Yeah. 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 Or sort of exciting. It's not exciting. Yeah. 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 You can tie them together, yes. That's the, the forgive. Then easy to forgive. That's you can tie it, yes. You can bring that person back to your life. But it's not you will be But the same. Just imagine how hard it is for you to feel that eye of that person. I can stay under the roof like uh, some some couples. They don't even talk to them, talk to each other like years. But they stay under the same roof. Oh. Man, we are capable yes. of doing wonderful things, but negativity. You can stay under the same roof without talking to your husband for maybe for years. But I don't want to live like that. Forget us. We are okay. Are we really okay? No. So human beings are capable of doing a lot of things which are not really possible sometimes. Very difficult. Forget us takes a lot. Being merciful takes a lot. Depends on each one's face. Some people can forgive us. She said she is very good. She can forgive us. Good, and then good. Some people it will take time. Yes, it will take time. But does it mean that we should stop trying harder to put some more effort? No, we need to wait. We always our effort. Or just like going to the flow. Yeah. That's it. I don't yeah. want. I yeah. don't want. Now well, going to the flow. That has my effort from you. Oh, that is why. Yeah. So it's You're not just for yourself. Going yeah. to the flow has my effort. That's why I have this dream also. I will go to the flow and you forgive, and I feel like forgiving. Huh? Huh? Cause it good that you you insert some of your effort. If that person is there, why can't you just go and at least say hi and talk? So they, can you make it a bit faster than going to the flow? The problem, for the brother, father, is saying, father, I, I don't know. No, do you remember the the homily the first topic? What if you cannot reconcile with that person tomorrow? What if that person is not there anymore? If you wait for the flow, mm. yeah. it's too late. Yeah. It's also good to have some effort from your side, even if that person is not coming to you. Okay, there it. You bring down your ego a bit. We can at least attempt to do something about that. It's good to live happy, right? Yes, yeah, yeah, that's true. Being angry with someone is actually disturbing you than the person. You understand that? If you are angry with someone, it's actually disturbing you first than the person. No, 
Okay. Because my is making you to lose your peace of mind. Yes. When you see that person out there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> The blood is dancing. Maybe that person is dancing, dancing, dancing. Disturbing you first. Yeah, what's the greatest thing for human person? My my blood is dancing. The greatest thing that everyone seeking in in life. Greatest thing that everyone seeks in life. Many of the ladies will be looking for that. No, sometimes brother, it depends on the situation. Yeah. Sometimes it's you're okay if that person is there. Simple. It's just we're okay. We're get, we're getting okay. Time to time we get deal. Time to time that's okay, brother. It's not because if you don't want to see that person, then it's not that is that is that is hate. That is hate already, brother. Which is the situation is not hate. You are not hating that person. You just hurt and you just you're just uh respecting yourself. Respecting <laughs> yourself. Yes. yes. That's another big event of uh, discussion and a little.